patrons were drinking at the tavern attacked the police. Uh, let's now discuss this further. We're now joined on the line uh, by National Liquor Traders Council, National Convener, Mr. Lakintibane. Very good afternoon to you, sir. Thank you very much for joining us here on SABC News again. Uh, good afternoon, Flo, and thank you for the opportunity. Well, uh, this time we're not really speaking good news, are we, as we were in uh, the earlier part of the week. So incidents like this have the potential of uh, ruining things, really, for everyone that's in uh, the, the liquor industry. What is uh, your uh, reaction to this? Uh, we, we are disgusted by the incident that took place yesterday in Mulder's Drift. I, I visited the police station and I was uh, on the scene as well. And I also need to maybe first and foremost to acknowledge uh, the, the, the leadership of uh, the Minister of Police, uh, General Beckett Taylor, who I spent a better part of yesterday on the phone with him. Yeah. Uh, even just before I came online now, I had a quick chat with him. And, and, and I want to reiterate you know, to him that we are fully committed to working together with law enforcement officials as liquor industry to make sure that we support all government's efforts in making sure that you know, we fight the COVID-19 pandemic together, but most importantly, to make sure that we support government's efforts in fighting against crime, which is also a pandemic on its own. We really condemn the incident that took place yesterday. And I must emphasize that even though it was an unlicensed should be owned by an illegal immigrant, we still are concerned that the alcohol was seen to be part of the incident that took place there. Mr. Tibani, this week uh, we were having a conversation with yourself and uh, uh, the Taxi um, taxi Alliance, and it was about the joint effort of having uh, taxi drivers uh, now going to places like this, like Shabins, where they will pick up patrons and make sure that uh, people arrive home safely. Uh, does this in any way affect us? I mean, is there now some sort of concern about the safety of even uh, the taxi drivers now who will then be having to be exposed to to these uh, environments i mean if, if if police couldn't handle that sort of uh, uh, environment what more for for the taxi drivers i mean it, surely this is now going to form another part of the conversation uh, no, 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 Flo. in fact there is a dis dis distinction between the two yeah. so this incident took place at a shebin a shebin by definition is a place that does not have a license they have no right in trading in alcohol. So these are the type of places that we are encouraging law enforcement officials to get out ourselves to make sure that we're cut in rooting them out. They have no place in society and they should not be in operation. So the, the relationship with Santaco really talks to the licensed market, which is your taverns, where we are anticipating a partnership that will ensure that we are able to protect our patrons and be able to use their services in our partnership with Santaco while we're able to take the patrons and deliver them home to make sure that they get home safely. So this is a separate incident. We have no intention of working with Shabins because they're illegal and all they do is perpetuate uh, the criminality uh, which we saw the results yesterday in burning off the state vehicle, which is something that, you know, we fully condemn. Yeah. So I suppose then you're saying that in this regard, then then your hands would then be tied uh, when it comes uh, to, to Shabins. Um, I mean, you heard you saying that you will be working with police. And I mean, the fact is that law compliance um, has continued uh, to be an issue. And, you know, of course, we were aware, you know, that some, some incidents or issues like this may be happening, particularly around uh, the Easter period. What must then uh, be done? I mean, if you're, if you're saying this is not uh, where you'd really want to, to be involved, what must uh, then be involved because uh, be done? Because at the end of the day, there is, you know, the, the issue of, of liquor that is involved. Um, you know, it's not just on the part of, of, of law enforcement, but perhaps as, as a council, um, you know, you might have uh, some sort of ideas because uh, the fact of the matter is that uh, Shabins will spring up or come up at, at, at any time. And being in the liquor industry, you would be aware uh, that they would come up, uh, they would be popping up everywhere, these uh, unlicensed uh, establishments. And I wonder then, are you saying that this is where you kind of have nothing to do uh, with it? Uh, certainly, Flo, we have something or everything to do with it. Hence, yesterday, I was able to visit the scene and visit the police station because we are concerned that alcohol was was, was party to whatever took place there. So we're not saying because your beans are illegal, we're not, really, we're not going to get involved. In fact, in my conversation with the minister yesterday, we, we, we are going to look at how do we cut out supply into that illegal market? No one should really crop up that sector which only seeks to promote criminality amongst our society. Mm. I mean, the minister expressed concern that in Orange Farm, for example, there were more than 130 shebins. You know, if you have shebins like that in such a small area like Orange Farm, mm. obviously the community there is not going to thrive because 
their focus will be on drinking and drinking and nothing else. We are really concerned. Mm -hmm. Alcohol is a product that is best enjoyed in a responsible manner. We have every concern if alcohol is sold in illegal channels and continues to propel illegal, illegal uh, uh, criminal element uh, like we saw yesterday. So this is something that we're not going to run away from uh, uh, flow yeah. and we are going to seek partnership not just with uh, the police or law enforcement officials, but also social development, because there are other issues that we feel can be addressed just beyond uh, the, the, the Shabin element. Yeah, and, 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 and you know, as you were speaking to Minister Tele, you expressed his concern, you also expressed your own uh, concern. So what was then part of that uh, solution for now? Um, you know, apart from the fact that you're looking at long-term solutions, yes, but the issues are actually happening uh, right now. So what was then shared, if you can, uh, in your conversation then with the minister, apart from the concern concerns uh, from, from both sides? On the immediate, we need to close off our supply to these illegal shipments. Mm. So if someone is going to a distributor to buy alcohol, we need to ensure that distributors are able to demand you know, some proof that this establishment that is buying alcohol is indeed licensed. You know, if we are not able to do this, then we're going to have this type of situations where we've got alcohol that is moving into spaces that will continue to undermine the state and result in criminality like we saw yesterday. Yeah. So we need to have an environment whereby alcohol is able to move from point A to point B, but in a legal channel and not in an illegal channel propping up an illegal uh, establishment like a Shebin. So I need to emphasize, uh, Flo, that in Houten, for example, a Shebin has a different meaning in a sense that we've got Shebin permit holders which is a unique situation for how they. So there are shipping that are operating but have a permit, which means that their environments are similar to that of a tavern. But in the instance of yesterday in Mulder Street, that shipping did not have a permit, so it did not have a right to exist or to trade in alcohol whatsoever. All right, uh, Mr. Timani, thanks for giving us uh, your time there. Uh, like in Timani is the National Liquor Traders from the Liquor National Liquor Traders Council. Thanks for your time. Thank you so much. All right. Well, moving on then. Uh